Hey there, welcome back to another lesson in the Star Synthesis Test Automation Playlist. Now that we have looked at how we can set up and configure our Star Synthesis Test Automation portal, and then we also logged in into the portal. Okay, so this is the URL which uh, we have built using our organization, and that's the URL we will always use to log in into our Star Synthesis Test Automation portal. So the next step is to go ahead and create our first test case in Transcentus Test Automation for a particular web application. So let's see how we can do this. Now, before we create a test case, we need to install a particular launcher so that we can uh, scan and we can execute our test cases using this particular tool, okay? And that launcher is uh, down here. If you can see, set up your testing machine, right? So we need to get the launcher. It installs and configures all the local parts which you need for testing using this particular tool, okay? So we need to click on the download launcher uh, or else we can also go here to the download section on the top right-hand side menu. And from here, you will get all the different downloads which are part of this particular tool, okay? So let's go ahead and download this launcher now. Okay, and once it's downloaded, let's go ahead and open this launcher and we will see how we can uh, set up all the different resources which are required before we start building our test case. So once you start this launcher, it is going to see if all the components are present in your system or not. If not, it will go ahead and download it. For example, you can see here the .NET 6.02 desktop runtime and the Visual C++ 2022 is not present here. So it is going to install both these components for me. Okay, so let's click on OK. And then uh, it will start installing those components right here in this particular machine as these are required uh, in order to work around with this particular task and test, test automation tool. Okay, so once all the components are installed, uh, you will see this launcher.exe will open in the background and it will say that uh, it has completed installing the Tri-Scientist launcher. And now we can close this particular window, okay? So we are going to close this and let's go back to our home page now. Okay, so now uh, we are going to create our first test case, right? So we can create our test case right from here on the home page, there is an option, create test case. Okay, uh, also if you go down, you will see, go to the test cases section, that is that will take you to the inventory and test cases section, where uh, we can either explore the samples which are present, or we can also create our own test case. So let's go ahead and create our own test case, and then it will take us to the builder section, okay? In this builder section, you can build different test steps to develop your own test case. Right. So here is the designer section right here where you can drag a building block, which is a module to build your different test steps in the test case. OK. And uh, there are two types of modules. One is the module which we are going to create for our web applications or the modules which are already present. And that is called the predefined actions. These are already provided by the tool itself. So it can be reused by us in anywhere, right? So uh, first let's uh, go ahead and scan a particular module, okay? So for this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the application which I'm going to scan. So for this, we are just going to use the google.com as an example. So let me go to google.com. Okay, so uh, we want to automate this particular page. We want to enter something in the text box and then click on Google search. So to build this, we need some modules, right? And modules are nothing but the controls which are present in the application uh, and it captures all the technical properties, right? So uh, to start creating a module in the scanned modules uh, section, we can click on this plus sign, which is to create a new module, okay? 
So click on this plus sign and then it will ask you to scan your application to create modules. Uh, if you have not downloaded the launcher, then you can download it again here, right here. But we have already done that. So we'll move on to the next step, which is to start the scan. So I'm going to start the scan now. And then um, it will tell me to open the launcher. Okay. So I'm going to click on open launcher now. And that will now open the launcher using which we can uh, scan our modules. Okay. So it will uh, start this window where it will be starting the launcher. Now it is going to ask uh, which browser we want to open, right? So I'm going to select the Google Chrome and click on OK. And then uh, it is also going to ask you for an activation code. OK, and uh, this is the activation code uh, which is displayed on this particular launcher. OK, so this is the activation code you can see here. So it is already uh, copied right here. Uh, I don't need to enter it again. So click on next and then uh, the device will be activated for us, okay? And now you can see here, uh, it is going to install all the uh, different engines. Uh, one is the T-Box engine, which is currently being downloaded. Similarly, it will uh, download all the required engines through which you can interact with the different controls in your application. Okay, so it could be the HTML engine or it could be the T-Box engine. Uh, everything will be downloaded and configured by the launcher itself, okay? And now, as you can see, it is starting the X-Scan window, which will basically allow us to scan any particular web application using this X-Scan window, okay? So once uh, this X scan window starts, then we'll select the application and then we'll start uh, scanning the modules which are required to automate this particular application, okay? So now as you can see, this is the X scan window and this X scan window will contain all the applications which uh, you can scan using this particular engine. So we need to select the application, which is the browser in our case. So I'm going to select the Google Chrome application here and then click on scan. Okay, so once you click on scan, uh, it is also going to require an extension, which is the extension provided by Trascentis, uh, which you need to install for the browser so that you can scan different elements, right? So if that is not installed, it is going to pop up this particular window where it needs to install this browser extension. So we are going to click on yes. We will install this particular extension before going to scan the application, right? So it will take you to that, to that page where this extension is present. And from there, uh, we can click on add to Chrome, okay? So it is going to install this particular extension for the Chrome browser. Click on add extension. Okay, so once uh, the extension is installed, now we can go back to our browser and now uh, we can go back to our X scan window where uh, it is going to scan this particular page which we have selected, which is the google.com page, okay? Now, once it scans all the controls, there are a couple of ways you can add your controls to your module, right? So this is the basic window, which you can see here, we can click on the controls and then add the controls to the modules, uh, which we want to scan or else we can maximize this window. And here there is an option called advanced. So we are going to go into the advanced mode and here uh, we will be able to see all the controls which are present on this particular page, okay? So here you can also change um, the identification mechanism and you can also do a lot of other things, okay? So we are going to use this uh, because there are some duplicate controls on this page, right? Which I want to handle. And that's why I went to the advanced mode instead of the basic mode. Now here, um, I want to select this search control Right, uh, which is the text box because I want to enter something into the text box. 
So that uh, is uniquely identified. You can see selected item is unique. Now I want to also click on the Google search button, right? But you will see a uh, orange bar is highlighted here and the selected item is not unique, which means uh, it was not identified uniquely because of another button, which is quite similar, okay? So to overcome this, uh, we are going to quickly uh, change the identification mechanism to index, okay? And we are going to select a particular index through which it can be identified uniquely. Now, both the controls are uniquely identified. So I'm going to save this particular module and close this window. Okay, and let's go back to our Tascentis test automation. Uh, let's close this here. And now under scanned modules, you will find the Google module, which contains both the controls. Okay, now if you also click on this three ellipses, you can find the added properties. Here you can change uh, the name of the module or you can put a description. You can see which property is being used to identify this particular control. And then you can also see what the controls like this is the search text box and then this is the Google search button. Okay, so that's, that's the module which we are going to use. And let's go ahead and build our test case now. Okay, so I'm going to rename this test case right here. Uh, and I'm going to say um, search text in Google. Okay, so that's that's my test case name. And this is the design section, as I said. So we need to have a couple of test steps right here. Okay, and the first test step is to open the URL or open the web page. Okay, so for that, uh, we can also use some of the T-Box automation modules, okay? So these are the modules which are already present in the tool. It is already developed and you can reuse them. So to find them, we need to go to the predefined actions. And inside this, you'll find a lot of different T-Box automation modules which can be used, okay? You can also search for it. So if I say open URL, you will see it is under predefined actions, browser open URL, okay? So that's the module. I'm going to drag it and drop it right here. So you can see there's the start and end block and in between there is open URL. So that's our first step, right? Now, if I expand this, uh, it also has got some module attributes and we need to provide some value right here, okay? So. This is basically the URL which we want to navigate to. So I'm going to say www.google.com and I'm going to leave this active tab as false. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so that completes our first uh, browser action which is opening the URL. Now um, we want to go to our scanned module and we are going to drag it and drop it after this, okay? So here uh, we are going to now enter something into the search text box, right? So in search, you can see the action. There are different actions here. I'm going to select input. And then here I'm going to enter Tosca, okay? And then this is a button. So uh, we need to perform the click operation, right? Okay, so uh, we'll be using these two test steps basically to open the URL and then entering some text here, right? So I'm going to rename this uh, particular test step to search text, okay? And this is how it looks when you drag your modules into this particular designer. It's like a flowchart with different steps, uh, which is one after another. It will be executed in a sequence, right? So uh, we are going to save this now, save our test case. Our test case is saved. And now uh, we are going to run this, right? So if you come here and uh, I can select both these test steps, okay? And then I can also select run selected or I can also run this whole test case uh, by selecting this run privately. So I'm going to click on this. 
okay and then it will open this window where i am going to say start run i'm going to close the google uh, web page here and click on open launcher it is going to download uh, the agent through which we can run this particular test case okay and you can see in the logs uh, it is now trying to um, execute this particular test case okay so as you can see it is using this computer uh, to launch the particular url now the google.com page has launched and the testing is in progress right in your machine okay so you cannot interfere with the automation which is currently running if you use any different machine then uh, you can use any particular cloud machine but here you can see it is performing all the different actions which we have automated to search for the tosca text and it is returning all the results right here so you can see in this test uh, Tracentis agent that the execution was completed and now the state is idle. So let's go back to our uh, Tracentis test automation tool and you can see here uh, there is a tick mark on the steps. So this means it was executed successfully, right? Now we can also look at the last run uh, which we executed. So click on view last run and then uh, it will take you to the results, okay? So here you can see the status was succeeded. Uh, this was the agent and this was the runner T box, okay? And if I click on this, you can see the logs, uh, you can even uh, see the recording. Now we need to enable that in the uh, YAML file of our agent, okay? and any attachments like logs.txt, there is a XML file, and there is a tbox results file. So we can download all of these files even, okay? So this is a end-to-end -end scenario where we looked at how we can create our test case, how we can um, add different test steps, which are nothing but modules, how we can scan the modules, um, how we can use the uh, existing modules which are already present as part of the tbox automation tools and then uh, we used them to build our test steps and then we executed the test case we looked at the results and everything you can do using the tracentis test automation tool that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.